This video was made possible by Hobbylink Japan. Thanks to Hobbylink Japan I got to build this new Dragon Chia kit and I will show you everything in today's video. Since there are not a lot of Japanese model kits of these types of tanks, I was glad to see Dragon was making one. The only kit company still making new Japanese tank kits is Vimold and these kits are really hard to get here in the Netherlands. And when you find one, they're really, really expensive. Of course Tamiya made a lot of Japanese tanks but they are pretty old by now and something new was always welcome and I'm glad Dragon is now making a lot of new Japanese tank kits. So first thing you want to do is follow the instructions and clip the parts off with a pair of cheap cutters like I have or some nice scale model side cutters you can buy in any model store. Another thing you want to do is cut away the sprue gateways and file them down afterwards. Um, and also don't cut like I do, always cut away from yourself, not towards yourself. With this kit, you can also choose two types of return rollers. So next step that I noticed that is a little bit odd to me is... You have the, these photo edge parts right here. You have this part. And you have these two parts right here. Um, what the instruction says that you need to do is cut these off and this part right here, this emblem part, and smooth them and then stick the photo edge part on there and the other photo edge part on there. Then in the next step <coughs> you're going to place the you're going to place this part on and that's that's the uh, the emblem onto the other photo edge part but when you do that you're going to lose these bolts and you're going to lose the star and <coughs> yeah so you have to probably cut off the star and then place that other photo edge part on there but I'm not going to do that because that's a bit tricky and hard to do and it looks fine to me without the photo edge part I'm only going to use the emblem part and glue it onto here and that's all I'm done with that one because yeah that's just pointless to cut that off it's probably going to look even worse when you do that. So next part is this track tensioner and you need to make sure that you don't glue this part and make it a moving part because if you don't you will get into trouble fitting the tracks later on. The kit also gives you an option to assemble the gun in two different ways with different parts. I also made the choice to not use the photo edge parts for the back support plates for the engine deck and just because they looked too thin for me. 
I also had a lot of trouble making this hatch fit. It didn't want to close at all properly, so I had to modify it. You can also choose to have every viewport open or closed on the hull and turret. But this will leave some gaps, so if you want to show off a little bit of the inside, you probably want to fill these gaps with body. To create a shadow effect I sprayed matte black on the parts that would have less light. Many Japanese tanks have the yellow painted lines or stripes, but I picked a camouflage that would not have the yellow stripes going down the hull. If you are doing these stripes, keep in mind these stripes need to go down the hull four sides. Just in real life, because these yellow stripes were painted on the tank going up and down to give a light fall illusion like you see in the jungle. When the camouflage is done, I sprayed some top coat on the tank and started giving the tank some panel liner washes. After this you can move some of the excess panel liner with some Tamiya thinner and a brush. You can use a hard brush or a soft brush or even a cotton swab. It's just the effect you want to create for yourselves. I use the hairspray technique for the exhaust. You can choose to apply pigments dry or wet. Uh, I chose at this point to first apply the wet pigments and later uh, apply some dry pigments over this. The tracks were easier to assemble than I thought and really did go well together. The kit also came with a sort of schematic so you can pre-fit and shape the tracks before you place them on the tank. For the chipping I used a small brush and first applied some light color. 
And after that some matte black over the same scratch. You want to do this to get more depth to the chipping that you are applying. If you want a good tutorial on this, have a look on bonsemeister 36s channel. He does a great tutorial on weathering effects. Make sure you apply these scratches and chips onto places that would come into contact with objects and where the crew would slide off the tank or come into contact with the tank a lot. And remember, less is more, don't overdo it. So I had a lot of fun building this kit and all with all, with only the hatch not fitting right, it went perfectly together and the instructions had some minor mistakes in them. But this kit also had some nice options you can choose from and also comes with a scale commander. Only I don't know if this is only in the special edition of this kit, just like it was with the Argo kit. Still, this is a huge improvement over the old Tamiya kit and I would recommend it if you want to get a Japanese Type 97 tank. I'd like to thank Hobby Link Japan for supplying me this and if you want to buy this kit there is a link in the description below. Yeah.